This episode of Must Watch is brought to you by Krypton on Sci-Fi. Are we actually gonna work for Elon Musk? <laughs> or did we forget to boost our profile on LinkedIn Pro? Find out more on today's Musk It's a, a plot twist. Just call me O. Henry, not the candy bar. After what? news broke last week that Elon Musk wanted to buy The Onion back in 2014, he made a definitely very normal and not at all confusing announcement on Twitter that said, THUD. And then he said, quote, that's the name of my new intergalactic media empire, exclamation point, optional, end quote. And we have a lot of feelings about how we might be in direct competition with the new media company made by the man that we are actively trying to get to adopt us. What were you doing there? Uh, being an active competition. Cool. He must not feel like he's busy enough between building rockets and cars and solar panels and AI development and tunnels and South by Southwest sing-alongs. He's doing so much, almost too much. We made that joke last week, and it still works because it's, he's still doing it. Look, if a joke's good, you can tell it twice. He has the time to start a new company seemingly every week, mm. but <laughs> I guess he doesn't have time to respond to the endless texts I sent him. You gotta slide in. I tried to, you believe me. You gotta in. Hey, at a certain point, you can't slide because the coefficient of friction is too high. Nice. And we wanted to take a moment to remind Elon Musk that we are probably the perfect candidates to work at his new intergalactic media empire. So this episode is our video resume. Video resume, hire Dan and Kyle today. Yeah. Education. We've definitely gone to school and you can't prove otherwise. Ha <laughs> ha. Relevant experience. Hey, look at us. We're on the internet. Yeah. We're doing a media right now. Related skills. <laughs> Joe? Yeah, check this out. What? Whoa! Whoa! You know what, Dan? I've got a pretty good feeling about this. I think that was a spot-on video resume. Video resume, hire us today. Please, we're gonna die. But really, Daddy Nerdist, Papa Legendary, Legend Daddy, please don't fire us for making this video. We just want so much. <laughs> Money. <laughs> Our next update is a little more boring. Oh. Do you ever, wait, wait. <laughs> I almost rocketed, rocketed oh, snot on my face. Your nose is SpaceX. Just, just a second. <sighs> Our next update is a little bit more boring. Do you ever think we'll stop using that joke? No. <laughs> Elon Musk filled in some of the holes in the information we had on the boring company recently. Quoth the Elon. <laughs> Adjusting the boring company's plan. All tunnels and hyperloop loops will prioritize pedestrians and cyclists over cars. Wow, Dad was really struggling there. He was just trying to be uh, thorough. Just, Jesus Christ, <laughs> why won't you say it? He bit the tongue of his thumb. <laughs> he bit his tongue emoji. Yeah. He Ow. then continued, <clears throat> we'll still transport cars, but only after personalized mass transit needs are met. It's a matter of courtesy and fairness. If someone can't afford a car, they should go fast. It's a fun game. Read all of Elon tweets uh, as though they are screaming. Yeah. Screaming while pooping. No, oh, oh, you yeah. have to be serious! And he further continued what should have been an email instead of tweets, quote, Boring Co. Urban Loop System will have thousands of small stations the size of a single parking space that will take you very close to your destination. Oot fled seamlessly into the fabric of the city rather than a small number of fixed stations like a suburb. Wow, he, uh, I can't believe he uh, blacked out for six hours after that tweet. Uh, and yeah, many people choose to use public transport for other reasons than not being able to afford cars. Perfect. I mean, sometimes they need to masturbate in public. But <laughs> surely people on Twitter wouldn't give him trouble for having his heart in the right place, right? <laughs> well, no, because oh. it's Twitter. <laughs> French Great word website. for that's the life. One of Elon Musk's goals with developing SpaceX is to develop technology that makes space travel and exploration much less expensive and more viable. Mm. And of course, one way to do that is through a little healthy competition, because SpaceX and the United Launch Alliance just snagged up the next round of contracts to launch satellites for United States Air Force Dang, stuff. That's some good contract snarfing. This is the fourth round of contracts that SpaceX has taken part in, and you'll remember that SpaceX actually had to sue the Air Force for the right to compete for these contracts in the first place. Previously, the Air Force was only able to award contracts to the ULA, which effectively held a monopoly on these launches, like so many hotels on so many Baltic avenues. Dan, I just had an idea. Yes, Kyle? We should sue Elon Musk so that we can work for him just like he did to the Air Force. Now, I would say this is a terrible idea, but honestly, at this point, I'm ready to try anything. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? 
Um, I mean, we'd go bankrupt in the legal battle. Oh. And uh, he'd get mad at us, which we cannot afford emotionally. I mean, it is a very dad thing to do to get mad and, well, not mad, but just disappointed at your sons. But I really love not being bankrupt, so not worth the risk. That's no. another board game. And on that note, yeah, it's nice. time for your must-see moment of the week. Must-see! One of the more interesting bits of Elon Musk's foray into media was that he had attempted to purchase satirical outlet The Onion, but they rejected him like so many dumb headlines. And they won't let him forget it, because The Onion and their sister site, Clickhole, have been straight up roasting the papa on the Twitter, with gems like Elon Musk offering 1.2 billion in grants to any project that promises to make him feel complete. <laughs> and he seems to be taking it all in stride, adding The Onion with replies like, Oh, you guys. And then <laughs> tweeted, Nailed it. Your croutons cut me deep, deep, but I love you too, please. It's not 2014, Get, take my money. Hot fire of a response. Oh, it, I need skin grafts for those pants. So we hope he's doing okay over there. A man can only take so much burning. Now, I don't care what anyone says about sticks and stones. Words still hurt. You know, if I'm rubber and you are glue, then what we should not me? be. Yes. And thanks again to Sci-Fi's Krypton for sponsoring today's show. Krypton follows the untold legend of Segel, Superman's grandfather. Segel must battle unimaginable forces to save his home planet and restore honor to the El family name 200 years before the Man of Steel was launched in a spaceship towards a small town in Kansas. It's the Kryptonite before the Ike. Nice. Make sure to tune in Wednesdays at 10, 9 central for brand new episodes of Krypton only on Sci-Fi. And from Segel to Segway, that's all the time Whoa. we have for this episode of Musquatch. Bye! Bye.